December the 1st, 2018. Christmas stuff. Someone's having a snooze. Anyway, right. Decks are down. This tree will go here, where it traditionally goes. Can't get my words out at the moment. And I'm going to put another tree out here in the conservatory because we always have another tree out here. Um, and that's a very big box. And that is an unboxing video that I will probably do tomorrow, but that's a huge box. Let's go into the kitchen. All oh, got a bit of washing to do there. Anyway, it is Saturday, 1st of December, 2018. First day of Vlogmas for me, official. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. Oh dear, a bit of a dry throat, water. Um, so yes, I'm gonna do the Christmas decorations today. I might get a chance to pop out later on and then it's an evening in with burgers and Strictly and probably might watch a film or something but yes so it's Christmas tree decorating day today and I was just thinking about Tracy and ours our first Christmas together and we decided to have a real tree so we went off to this farm shop we bought Tracy's dad's car and drove off to this farm shop by the time we got there it was dark and Tracy made me probably stand up about 20 trees for her before she went back to the first one. Anyway we got this cut tree back into the car and back here um, but it wouldn't fit into the ring at the, rib, the base of it wouldn't fit into it. so what I had to do is get an axe and hack it down like, sharpen it like a pencil um, and it took me forever because I kept missing it and hitting the concrete and sparks were flying. Um, Tracy was getting worried that I was going to chop my hand off or something. Anyway, so today, yeah, my plans are pretty much Christmas decorating. Pretty much probably like everyone's on a wet day like today. But yeah, I'm going to get a crack on. Oh, oh, the mistletoe. Dooby dooby doo. Looking nice. I've put one decoration on it so far. Just the space shuttle going into space again. Um, so I'm going through all the decorations and I found our Christmas cards from last year. Uh, I'll show you the clip. Oh yeah. That is our Christmas cards. We get these out every year. How many years we've had them? I can't remember. Oh, we've got to be at least five. Longer than that. That one there. It's got to be. It, this one here says, it says, please have my, my tax rebate. Yeah, how long ago was that? The rat sense, has it? <laughs> <laughs> To my husband and best friend, we've got through another year with all my love at Christmas and always. Thank you for all the effort you've made for Christmas. Lots of love, your trouble and strife, Tracy. Kiss, 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 kiss. Remember last year's tree? It's grown a bit. <laughs> I'm going to put some lights on that. Oh, there go my glasses. Right, it is quarter past two. Um, I was decorating the little Christmas tree. I moved it out to the front of the house, um, went to shut the gate and the gate wouldn't shut because the wood has swollen up in the rain. So I had to go to a neighbour's and borrow a plane off them and plane the wood off and get the gate shut, which I've been managed to do. But I've been out in the rain probably for about 20 minutes trying to sort that out. Uh, so really I need to get on with the advent calendar now. It's time. So here it is. I had a visit this week from Santa. He's lent me his sack. And inside the sack is the advent calendar. 
and it is oops a lint advent calendar or is it because there's still something else or 24 things in that sack let's have a jingle Things in tins. Yes, guys, this year's advent calendar is called Things in Tins, as Tracy named it last year. Um, so the idea is, every day, I get to rummage around in Santa's sack and pull out a thing or a tin, a packet, a pot maybe, and that is my lunch for the day. So, let's go and have a rummage. Oh, okay, what's today's gonna be? Right, something from the top, I think, or shall I go to the bottom? Here we go. Item one of the Things in Tins advent calendar. Let's take this into the kitchen and see what it is. Oh, it's a Marks and Spencers. It is an M&S tomato and olive wholesome grain pot. You probably can't see that there because the light's so bad. But that is the first thing on the calendar. Actually, a funny thing happened. These were priced at a pound something. And when I put them through the till, they came up as 20p. And they're not out of date or anything, so let's take this lid off. All right, read the instructions. Preparation, remove lid and film. From, right, and empty sachet into pot, fill with boiling water, took the line, replace the lid, leave for a further five minutes, stir again and enjoy. All right, so let's take that off. Right, well, this looks rather interesting. It's a grain pot. Just add hot water and it's couscousy. So give me wind. Well, it's all right. Quite nice, actually. It's still chucking it with rain out there. I want to go out somewhere in the car. Considering these only cost me 20p because they obviously had some pricing error, it's not bad. Yeah, 13.4 grams of fat, 19%. 335 calories it is. I would give that, well I wouldn't eat it again, so I would give that 5 out of 10. It was okay but, God imagine eating these every day, on, like, trying to diet or something. Um, but for 20p, because of a pricing error, not bad value. So, uh, yeah, 5 out of 10. And then um, this pot, I'm not going to bin it. I'll plant something in it for the allotment. Hi everyone, it's Saturday evening. It is oh, coming up to 20 to 7. Um, I'm feeling a bit crap, so I got in the car, went for a drive, and drove over to Chichester Retail Park and just had a mooch around there for a couple of hours. Um, yeah, so that did me the world of good just to get out of the house because it was just miserable outside. Um, so it's Saturday evening, and I've got burgers tonight, so I'm going to do burgers, and I will film that in a minute. Uh, 
Yes, so it's Saturday night burger for me. Uh, I've just fed Petal and she's having a good old wash. Uh, and I'm gonna get myself a beer and prepare my burgers. Slap your burger down. Get your cling film. Get your plate. And give it a good squish. And then just peel the plate off. Peel that off. And you've got some nice big burger patties which will shrink in size once you've cooked them. <laughs> oh dear look. Oh my goodness. What a wrecker. Petal. I, think, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> this tree is going to last long. I kind of had a feeling this might happen. I forgot to say, um, whilst I was in Chichester, I went to the range. Not my sort of shop, but I did see these tree skirts. So I need to get that round the tree at some point. But Petal is doing quite a good job of just wrecking it and I might have to move some of the baubles up um, otherwise I'm going to be spending the next year finding baubles and bits behind the furniture but the tree does look nice oh and I've got this as well it's like a Tiffany blue butterfly so I bought the one and I'm kind of thinking I might get a few more for the tree I think they'll look really nice. Yeah. But it looks alright. I think it always looks better in the dark when it's darker, the tree, and the lights are on. Oh my word. Dum dum, de dum, de dum. Right, day one of the Lint Advent calendar, and I think that is day one. Never done one of these before. Oh, and there's a bit of chocolate in there. Badoing, 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 badoing. Anyway. That's the end of day one of Vlogmas 2018. Badoing, badoing, badoing. Be silly.